So now I'm going to be chatting to you about the paired reading approach. This is a method that you use when you're working one-to-one -one with a child and it's a method that I have found to be really effective, particularly when I'm working with a learner who is lacking in confidence when reading aloud or who's been finding texts that they've been reading really challenging. Often for the learners that I find this to be most effective with, it's children that are quite switched off to reading and have almost lost the desire to want to read aloud anymore. So this is a method of supporting reading is a very well researched strategy and um, it's proven to develop reading fluency and overall learning confidence when reading aloud. The way that you complete this method is you and the learner will read aloud together. So you ask the child to start to read and you match your reading pace to the same level as a child, although you want to be slightly slower than them as they're reading. You allow them a little time just to lead when they're first saying the word so that you are not just being copied effectively. If the child gets stuck on a word that they are reading and then reads the word correctly, then we need to be careful that we are not jumping in to correct too quickly. Give a word of praise or a non-verbal clue like a thumb up to gesture that they've got the word correct and then you keep going. The aim of doing this is just to it just continue to develop their fluency and not to affect their comprehension as they're reading. If, however, you notice as you're reading that the learner gets stuck on a word and they're struggling for quite a long time, the best way to manage this is to silently count to five. So the way that I find really helpful is just to have my five fingers and to tap one, two, three, four, five. Then you just say the word. You're not encouraging them at this point to decode the word. You're not encouraging them to split the word up into syllables. You're giving the word, ask the learner to repeat it correctly, and then you move on. When you have decided that the learner is now reading with a bit more confidence, then you arrange a pre a pre-agreed signal. And so Often that can be a little tap on the shoulder, a tap on the desk or a thumbs up and that is their indication that they are then happy to read the text alone. If the learner again is struggling on a word, you just follow exactly the same as you would. If they're struggling on a word and they get it, you give them a quick well done, you got the word or a, a small gesture to indicate that they should continue. However, if you're noticing that they are struggling, following that five second rule and then giving them the word is a great way just to keep it going. You continue to do this and when you stop, then you then focus on your comprehension and modelling your comprehension out loud, considering talking about fluency and expression and just as you would for the three read approach, it's really about modelling good examples of how to read with confidence and fluency. It's again really important at this time to make sure that the feedback that you're providing is really specific. And in my experience, I've found that some learners really, really like this approach. But interestingly, the more confident the reader, the more off-putting they actually find this approach. So it's certainly one that you can suggest a child to use, but they will quite quickly tell you if it's the approach that works for them or not.